Welcome to another episode of Landlord TV. This is your host, Rob Wells, from the law office of Robert M. Wells. Our office specializes with helping out landlords with their landlord-tenant situations. In this video, we're going to talk about the importance of a new landlord or owner to a property using a notice to enter into that property if they need to get into the house. Now, before I start, um, landlords, property managers, if you're going through a situation such as this one or another landlord tenant matter, please feel free to reach out to us. We can set you up for a case review to go over your own situation. Okay, now back to the video here. Here's the situation, guys. Got a new property owner, just bought a, bought a new property. Doesn't really know that much about it if it's occupied by tenants, the former owner, that type of deal, but at uh, one of these um, auction sites, okay? Um, you know, a lot of those places, it's just sight unseen. You know, here's the property, bang, bang. Um, you put your bid in and then you kind of get it as is and, you know, with all the uh, problems and other so forth. So, look, cut to the chase here. Um, owner looks at the property. It looks, it appears vacant because there's no, like, cars outside, you know, yard's probably a mess you know and guess what there's an open entry door okay so curiosity you know killed the cat they say and you peek in and see what's going on in there well there's the problem there long, long story short um there were the property was occupied by a tenant tenant gets a lawyer and owner gets a really nasty legal letter saying hey, hey guess what um you in wrongfully entered in my property now now you're gonna have to face a lawsuit potentially here one of the typical you know shakedown type letter um give us some money and we'll go away type deal okay so i bring this up for one reason and one reason alone i think this owner here could have saved a lot of headache and hassle if that owner would have used what it, uh, a written notice to enter. Now, last week, in the last couple of videos, we talked about 24-hour notices to enter and notices to enter into a unit and the civil code, so particular civil code 1954 that authorizes property owners to enter into a tenant's home or home for a specific number of reasons. And one of those reasons could have been, hey, to check to see if the property was abandoned, for example. Um, this problem could have been just resolved by the owner posting a notice saying, hey, 24 hours or later thereafter, we're going to enter the property to check to see if it was abandoned or not. And because, and if you properly post the notice, such as in a conspicuous place, like on the front door of the property, hey, that owner probably would have found out that that property wasn't um, vacant because it, the notice is going to have your name and phone number and contact information on it and they would have told you so but unfortunately this particular owner learned the hard way and got a lawyer's demand letter and that's no good too so again if you if you're new owner to a property and you don't know the status of tenants and you, you buy a property at auction you kind of don't know what the deal is best case scenario is if you're going to actually enter in that home um use a written notice to enter um side note besides the actual legal issues that this owner may be faced this situation could have ended up a whole lot worse let's say that the property and a tenant is asleep or something like that they work nights they're left the, they inadvertently left their side door open and you come in well guess what because you don't know the status of that what is that tenant going to think who's in your house they don't know who you are or anything like that they're going to think if it was me i think you're an intruder and this could have ended up very deadly or you know seriously bought an injury against you know the owner that entered into the home because hey if you're an intruder and that person thinking they're under attack or some force like that and uses force against you that's a problem um listen landlords property managers if you're doing any type of entry and you're uncertain about the law or a lot of these cases are factually dependent on certain facts you know you know such as why do you think it's abandoned and so forth like that you need to sit down with 
legal counsel and go over these issues because these cases aren't clearly cut. Luckily, this owner didn't face any harm physically, but legally might have an issue here. And we want to try to avoid that at all costs. We want to keep landlords and property managers safe and out of legal trouble. So next time, if you're not sure, please call call a legal professional. Feel free to reach out to us. We can set you up for a case review. And we'll talk over these issues before you do anything that could cost you a lawsuit. Till next time, folks. We'll see you then. Take care.